Hi everybody, my name is Tedman Tran, and I want to share with you electrical engineering at Cal Poly. On the left here is Vietnamese singer-songwriter Jin Kong Sun, the subject of my research in Vietnam last year. That's right, research abroad. And on the right is my senior project, where I'm trying to understand music and quantifiable empirical data, combining electrical engineering, music, and computer science. So about me, I'm out to complete my degrees in EE music. I played in many different ensembles here on campus, been part of many cultural and political organizations and, and clubs, been the EU department tour representative, a grader and tutor for many different courses in different departments through connections and, and networking. And I've presented many seminars and lectures both here at Cal Poly and elsewhere on audio sampling, Vietnamese music cultures, and so on. So an overview of Cal Poly EE really you, we, three, three aspects we have to, to consider, the different opportunities and, and, and core principles of it here at Cal Poly, the electrical spectrum, so you understand the difference between electrical engineering and the other majors here, and the EE experience. So what are the big three? Well, this equipment here around me in this lab has been donated, donated by industry partners, by Cal Poly alum who want to give back to the school knowing that we produce students who learn by doing. By having these resources facilities, our students are able to use state-of-the-art equipment in our labs and our assignments. Because of that, we are considered day one ready. We are we require less training than the average EE college graduate. So those are active and and, and these principles are active in all of the majors here in the College of Engineering. So levels of extraction, what we call the electrical spectrum. Well, start with software engineering your Facebook app, your social media, things that you interact with and is on a software and with software. Well, the software engineers have to understand how, what the client wants, make the software product suitable to the, the client, the customer, or the consumer. We have the computer scientists who try to understand the algorithms, the math behind all that. We have the computer engineers who work with the physical devices, the physical computers, phones and hardware to understand how we're going to make the physics interact with this programming, with the software. And lastly, electrical engineering deals with energy and information through different devices. That's not to say we don't do programming. We do extensive programming for our purposes and applications in electrical engineering. So what is EE? It has to do with energy information, energy and information, how it's stored, transmitted, and processed. So hold up your smartphone and picture the battery that keeps your phone charged. There's power in the phone, you have to charge it. There's a tiny little phone antenna, believe it or not, in your phone that allows you to send a text message or send a notification. We have digital music. My voice is coming through to you through sound, but that sound is created with electricity. Electricity is making your speakers vibrate. We have these things called transistors, 200 billion of them in a smartphone. They have very, very elaborate fabrication methods. These little, these little devices make your smartphone work the way it does. In general, it's a handheld computer that interacts with everything. That's the world of computer engineering, what we call embedded systems. Think smart cars, smart TVs, smart refrigerators. Why is everything coming so smart? Because everything's connected in this internet of things. Focuses of Cal Poly EE, because I've given you those, those areas of study, well, this is the traditional, we start with the mathematics and physics in the first two years of the program here, but soon we start doing projects in laboratories in areas in power, controls, electronic communications. Examples of communications would be radars and antennas to photonics and lasers. Well, with enough understanding of computer programming and electronics, students in EE and computer engineering take finally get to the area of embedded systems computer design. And here, what I have here in this slide here, this is a core EE curriculum at Cal Poly. And students can take more electives in these areas or do applications, physical applications and electives like renewable energies and more classes in quantum physics or material science or industry applications like electives in biomedical engineering or industrial engineering. We have software electives like computer vision data science for students who want to get more programming under their belt. So many facilities I can't show, show it to you all today, but Dr. Derrickson's open house lights have more information and the e website does as well. Many of our classes involve comprehensive projects in these labs and make our students stand out. I wanna show you, I have a robot chassis for my very first EE lab that I stripped for parts and a microprocessor for my very last EE lab. And this thing powers amplifiers, synthesizers, and many music applications. I wanna highlight the 20 lobby. This is where students and faculty come together to study and get questions answered or socialize. 
you'll notice that in this two-story building, we have different faculty offices and that's where they hold their office hours. Many industry professionals also give seminars here, free food and gear, and allow you to network and learn how to get hired. We have related clubs and organizations. These are just a few professional societies, Society of Women Engineers, clubs that emphasize projects and respond ethical hacking. You can solve problems, create startups at hackathons such as Camp Poly Hacks or Slow Hacks. Many, many opportunities here at Cal Poly, which leads me to the advice from current students. Don't be afraid. Find a study group and don't worry about trying to figure it out. For me, actively pay attention to what those courses are, whether that be at Cal Poly, Cal Poly EE, a different major or different university. Don't be indifferent and explore everything. So in general, the Cal Poly EE experience is very difficult, but in terms of context, it's rewarding. We're proud of what we do. That's, that's really the EE experience. It's collaborative as engineering should be. Students have to study and they work together and it's incredible here. We're focused on raising the curve instead of setting the curve. So I want, hopefully you can check these things out. Uh, Zach Starr is a Cal Poly alum, formerly major prep. He's a video in what is electrical engineering, different areas of engineering and really cool videos and all that. We have Dr. Derrickson's Open House 2020 presentation giving you more insight into our labs, research and all that good stuff. Thank you so much.